Izzy and Nathan and Aaron and Kalia and Lilia and Liam and Kaylee and Giovanni and Juliana. I hope you're watching this morning and Ariel and Isabella and Stevie and Avery. We're just excited that you're all with us this morning. All of our praise kids, we love you guys. And even though we're not able to have you here at church this morning, I've got a couple of live kids at church here. I got Moses and I got Elizabeth and I got Raina sitting here in some seats over there because they're here with their mom, the grandma, because they are, she's leading worship. So they got to come to church this morning. But we miss you guys too. We want you to join us this morning. And last week we had Clarence telling us about the real meaning of Easter. Well, actually, he didn't understand it at first, but now he does, right, Clarence? He knows about Easter being all about Jesus, dying on the cross, right, and rising from the grave. Yeah, he knows all about that. But here's what happened during the week. I was preparing a lesson with Clarence on the armor of God. Remember, we talked about the armor of God, and I even brought some of the, the stuff from the play into the class, and we wore the helmet and the breastplate and all that stuff. You guys were in class. Do you remember that? That was fun. And so we we're going to teach about the armor of God today. And then in next week, uh, Miss Yanni's going to come here, and she's going to teach some more about the armor of God. But when I told Clarence about that, he told me that if I get to have a puppet, then he wants to have a puppet too. I said, all right. So we went out and we got Clarence's own little puppet. What do you think about that? So he's got a little puppet here, and it's a teddy bear puppet. And the puppet is wearing the armor of God. So you see, I'm going to read you about the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. It says, Stand therefore, having girded your loins with the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet the gospel of the preparation of peace, and in addition, take up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the enemy and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we can see that Clarence, your little, your little bear here has a lot of those things on, this little tunic here and the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith and the sword of the Lord, which is the word of God. And this isn't really, it doesn't look like a helmet, but back in, in the old days, they used to wear uh, leaves around their head for like a hat. So everything that, that your little guy has, has the armor of God, Clarence, okay? But today we want to talk about one thing in particular, and that's this thing about shoes. And so Clarence had a question about this little puppet. Maybe you can help him to answer it. Because Clarence said that this leg on this puppet and the foot, or down here, this, he says, it's the same. It's the same color. So he doesn't even know if this bear's wearing shoes. And I said, well, let's look. Maybe this thing around his ankle is just like a bracelet or something. Maybe he has bare feet. What do you guys think? You think there's shoes on this little bear? Or do you think he has bare feet? Elizabeth, what do you think? Bare feet? Moses, what do you think? Bare feet. What do you kids at home think? Well, a lot of kids think it's bare feet because of the color is the same. But here's why I think it might be shoes that are just the same color, because there's no toes on there. And if you look on the bear's hands, he's got thumbs, and down here he doesn't have any big toes. So let's just say this. Maybe he's got shoes on today that are the same color as his legs. Is that possible? It's possible. And the thing is, we want to talk about the shoes, Clarence, because the shoes, according to Ephesians 6, are what we're supposed to be wearing on our feet to prepare to have the gospel of peace. If we're going to take the gospel of peace, we have to walk it there. Clarence has got his own shoes. He's got some nice shoes there. He knows how to tie his shoelaces. And look at this. He can put his foot behind his head. How many of you can do that? You think you could do that, put your foot behind your head? I don't know about that. I don't think I can. But Clarence has got shoes. The little bear's got shoes on. You probably have shoes on this morning. Or maybe you're still in your pajamas. You don't have your shoes on yet. But the reason why the armor of God includes shoes is because we have to go places to take the gospel. Do you know what the gospel is? The word gospel means good news. So you have to go places and give good news. 
And it can be all kinds of good news. Maybe you could walk out into the kitchen with some good news and say, hey, mom, I cleaned my room. That'd be good news for her to hear. Or maybe you could come out and say, hey, dad, I finished my homework for school on the internet. That'd be good news. Well, how do you get there? With your feet. So your feet are bringing good news. And do you know in Romans 10, chapter 15, it says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. So if you're bringing good news of good things, your feet are beautiful. Did you ever think of your feet as beautiful? We usually think of people's face when we think if somebody's beautiful. But if you're bringing good news about good things by walking with your feet to bring it there, your feet are beautiful. So I want you to think about some good news that you can share with somebody, somebody in your own house, maybe your brother or sister. Maybe you could walk in with those feet, bring them some good news and say, hey, I wanted to share this toy with you today. Or maybe you want to tell them something nice about something they drew on a piece of paper. And you say, oh, I really like how that came out. Well, you're bringing good news when you do that. And you're walking to tell them, and that means your feet are beautiful. Now, the most important good news we can give anybody is this good news. God loves you. That's the best news for anybody to hear. And the proof that God loves us, Clarence, is just what we talked about at Easter, that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for us so that we could have our sins forgiven and have eternal life in heaven with God. That's really good news. That's kind of the best news ever. And maybe you could teach your little puppet teddy bear here to walk with his little feet and go tell some people the good news about Jesus. And you can do the same thing. You can tell people in your family about Jesus and how much he loves them. You can tell your friends, even though you're not able to see a lot of your friends right now at your house, you probably talk to them on the phone and you can tell them the good news about how God loves them. Now, in the coming weeks, we're gonna talk about the shield of faith. We're gonna talk about the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation, and all those other things. But Clarence, I think your little puppet friend did a good job this morning showing us about the shoes of good news. And that rhymes. So that's what I want you to remember. Today, we talked about the shoes of good news. And you've got a pair of them too at home. So put them on and give somebody some good news this morning. And I got good news for you. I love you. God loves you. We're all going to be back in church together before too long, having fun in our Sunday school classes. And Clarence, I think we did a great job today. So let's say goodbye to the kids this morning. Okay, we'll see you soon. Tune in next week. Miss Yanni will be here to bring you a lesson about the armor of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.